شیطان وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ And when it is said to them تَعَالَوْا إِلَا مَا عَنْذَرَ اللَّهَ وَإِلَا الرَّسُولِ Now must be some brothers, some Muslims, some true Mormon, he would have, he must have said, where are you going to get the decision, to get the judgment? You profess to be a Muslim, why don't you come to the divine law? Ilama Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the law, and we have Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam amongst us. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ تَعَالَوْا إِلَا مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ وَإِلَى الرَّسُولِ رَأَيْتَ الْمُنَافِقِينَ يَسُدُّونَ عَنْكَ سُدُودًا You will see that these munafiqeen, they hold back from you. They refrain from you. They don't want to come to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because there is disease in their hearts. And that disease is the disease of the faq. فَكَيْفَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُسِيبَتٌ What will happen? If some infliction comes to them, some affliction, something unpleasant befalls them due to their wrong attitude. Due to whatever their hands have earned. Then they will return to you and they will swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in aradna illa ihsanam wa tawfiqa. If we went there, you know, O oh Prophet, O oh Messenger of Allah, our intentions were not wrong. We only wanted reconciliation. We only wanted something which is good and a reconciliation. We were not going there for any bad intentions. They are the people. Allah very well knows what is in their hearts. Far is on whom? So Prophet just ignore them. Why? It's not yet time to engage with them. Because you have yet to consolidate your own position at Medina. The authority and the jurisdiction of Islamic State has not been established fully up till now. So just ignore them. Don't try to punish them. Don't bring them to book. Just ignore them. Far is on whom is whom. But admonish them. Teach them. Give them advice. And say to them. Such words which penetrate into their hearts. This can have two meanings. Some advice which penetrates into your heart. Call a balil. And something which very well warns them that their attitude is wrong. Although the words you know used by the Prophet ﷺ are very soft. But they can know what it means. Qawlam baliga. Wa mar sallam ir rasulin illah liyutar bismillah. This is the principle. And we have never sent any messenger except to be obeyed by the command of Allah. If you accepted Muhammad as messenger of Allah, you have to obey him anyhow. You can't refuse. He is the messenger of Allah. This is a very beautiful ayah in Surah Maryam. Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam said to his father, Ya abate inni qad jani min al-ilm ma'alam yatek fattabeni. Oh my dear father, to me a knowledge has come which didn't come to you. So you have to follow me. I will lead, to you, lead you to the right path. Now a son saying to the father. But the reason is, why he has come to me, not to you. So whomsoever you accept as messenger of Allah, you have to obey him. And if when they had committed some sin, had they come to you, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Fastafarullah. And they would have themselves asked the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَاسْتَغْفَرَ لَهُمُ الرَّسُولِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or the Prophet and the Messenger would have also asked the forgiveness of Allah for them. لَوَجَدُ اللَّهَ تَوَّابًا رَحِيمًا They would have found Allah to be tawwab and raheem. He is the acceptor of tawbah. Always ready to accept tawbah. Waiting for his servant to make tawbah and return to him. And if he returns, he also returns with mercy. As I explained yesterday, last night. You know, Tawba is both sides. Tawab, Allah is Tawab, and the Lord's man is also Tawab. 
and then they have to to submit with total submission fala wa rabbika la yu'minuna hatta yuhakkimuka fi ma shajara bainahum thumma la yajidu fi anfusihim harajan mimma qadayta wa yusallimu taslima barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al-azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayati wa dhikril hakim